Coming to you from the back room of your parents' favorite porn store, it is Cursory Overload. And we are in. What up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Cursory Motherfucking Overload. That's right, bitches. We're back with a vengeance. With a vengeance. Hey, um, you know, I think we need to start speaking more things into the universe, you know, speaking them into reality, because uh, I don't know uh, if, y- if y'all haven't heard the last episode episode 46 uh go listen to it but uh you need to you, you need, need to because it's on it's in our podcast page i mean we talked about the possibility of a lucifer constantine team up and somebody on the lucifer side's already joking around about it Bye. and normally if we talk joking, about it and and other people are now talking about it you yeah. heard it here first now the question is, uh, the, I don't know. Uh, do you think? Ah, oh gosh, it's just the idea of a Constantine Lucifer team up. I mean that 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 could go in so many different directions. And wow. Well, okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna that, get that in with that fun. in some of the news. Uh, all my ideas on that, but uh, I do think that that is a possibility. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's awesome. I mean, I'm thinking it's cool, but uh, I mean, you gotta you gotta the, the chemistry between that because you you got the exorcist who exorcises demons back into hell, working with the king of hell. <laughs> yeah, mean, the the, the the possibilities for I don't know. It, it's it's just crazy. All the the and especially the way they both are. I mean, the the way they both uh, play their characters. Uh, I could just the, the the chemistry could either be really good, and and I hope there's two, there's no way that it could be bad. They're well, too good of actors. All I it'd know be is, amazing. All I know is I hope if they do a Constantine Lucifer team up, I just hope those two motherfuckers get along. I don't want it to be like Sherlock and Watson. That you know I love Sherlock Holmes the the modern version. But because yeah, those two fuckers yeah. can't get along. <laughs> you know what? I kind of hope it would be like. I hope it would be more like the, uh, like the the Rock and uh, um, Jason Statham, where like they get along, but they just go back and forth at each other all day long. Hmm. I, I don't, know, I, I don't that, know. Have you seen Hobbs and Shaw? Hobbs and Shaw, they were kind of like that, where they just kind of took digs at each other well, all I, while you know that. trying I mean, to achieve the uh, no, uh, a common goal, but. No, I understand that, but uh, a, a good actor can uh, can uh, well. How can I say this? Can make you believe that they're friends, just like I mean, Watson and Sherlock appear to be friends in the in the series. So right. when I found out that those two didn't get along, I was like, "Ah, oh, come on, what the?" But I mean, anyway, mm. what, what I'm saying, if I'm saying anything, is if they do make a team up between uh constantine and lucifer i hope the i can't think of their names right now i well what is tom ellis is one of them that's Lucifer. yeah i, I don't and remember constantine, yeah that's that's i don't know constantine's um name yeah well if they make a team up eventually he'll be a household name uh Anyway, that, that, uh, yeah you know we, we jumped into this because obviously i was excited about that ever since i saw that uh, trending, I was like, hey, we just talked about that. So there it is. So thank you for listening, by the way. Thank you for tuning in. We know you have options. And you and chose fine. us because you know we're the fucking best. Yeah. Or like K Dog said, <laughs> you chose to be with us instead of uh, with people you that know have what good you shows. were getting. Huh? Listen, some people have really good shows, some have really, really good uh, uh, productions. We just, we just, we're just the best. Period. We just give you what you want, even if you don't know period. what you want. 
Well, they know what they want. They want us. Oh, well, you know what? You're right. And when you're right, you're right. No, damn. That's right. All right. So, uh, all right, let's get into this. Well, we've got a whole lot of show to get into. We need to get into this motherfucker. All right. How are we rolling with this today? Okay. Well, you already brought one of the things up, so I'll just start off with that. All right. All right. Let's go with that. Okay. So, uh, Tom Ellis, Lucifer, we just talked about him. Was talking about his crisis on on Infinite Earth, right? Mm-hmm. The the crossover that's happening that everybody should know by now. If you don't, yeah, go go research it. Anyways, he was saying that the timeline, if you watch it without knowing, you could get a little confused. Okay. The timeline is supposed to be five years before the TV show. So okay. the Lucifer that you see is going to be very not given a fuck, zero fucks given kind of the Lucifer. In other words, okay, so this is five years before he met Detective Decker, before he learned Bingo. to care for humans. Bingo. Oh, this could be exciting. This could be interesting then. It could be very interesting. And, of course, uh, you could see the animosity between Constantine and Lucifer. Now, right. here we're talking about the characters. Not the not people, the, the characters. Okay, so that leads me into my next thing. Hmm. All right. Rumors, okay, and you guys need to hear it for that. Rumors, all right, rumors uh, are circulating that the WB, you know, Warner Brothers, gave the green light for the Matrix 4 to go ahead and be made in order to keep Keanu Reeves away from Marvel. Because Keanu Reeves had said he was hoping to be able to do, he, he, he would like the idea of doing like a, a superhero. Now, a lot of people were talking online about him taking over as Moon Knight, which if you know that character, you know that would be a good choice. You know, but Keanu, Keanu Reeves has another idea that I like even better. Or hmm. let me rephrase that. I think is interesting. Very, very, very interesting because he doesn't look like the character. But I think if one thing we know about Keanu Reeves is that if he decides to play a character, he goes balls to the wall, full tilt. Mm-hmm. He said he wouldn't mind playing Wolverine. I heard about that. In fact, I read about it. Somebody posted something with the yellow spandex suit. Yeah. And uh, I thought about that for a while, and I personally think he could pull it off. But uh, He could. But it's smart from the WB to uh, keep Keanu busy and uh, keep him away from the mouse. Right. But do you know what they uh, they they are talking about doing? Hmm. This goes back into our previous co- comment. They're talking about letting him do Constantine again, like bringing back the one from twenty five. Oh wow, that would be awesome! Now, you take that rumor, and you take the fact that they brought Constantine back for the the crossover. Can't take that combined with the fact that they're bringing in Lucifer, and the, mm. I don't know. It, it almost seems like that that it may be, it may happen. Mm. Okay. Now, at well, the very okay. least, maybe just getting another TV, another shot at at Constantine TV show. Hey, that might be that. Well, I think that didn't Netflix pick it up, or Netflix was in talks about because they. they I know up, they were in talks. Because I mean. Okay, uh, Lucifer was canceled by what? What network, network was it? Uh, was it? Uh, was it? I want to say Fox. Fox. No, I think or, it was Fox. Because uh, Constantine was on NBC, and then uh, obviously he ca- he came over to the CW and started uh, making appearances in the with Arrow and you know the, right. CW, the Arrowverse. Uh, in all, okay, now we mentioned Tom Ellis. Okay, Matt Ryan is uh, John Constantine for the CW. Okay. Just to, you know, give right. credit where credit is due. Because, you know, you know, even if they made a new Constantine with Matt Ryan, I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay. Uh, that, that's a great choice as well. 
You know, uh, because although I was Keanu Reeves was the first Constantine in movie wise that I paid attention to. Um, right. I mean, let's face it. I mean, he's got John Wick. He's right. got Neo. That. Yep. Yep. I mean, there's so, there's so many possibilities. Another, another idea I was looking at was okay. Didn't CW pick up Constantine? Either and that's CW. why they're allowed to put them on. Yeah, they. I, I don't know how NBC and the CW worked out some kind of deal where Constantine could appear in the, or they canceled them and they. they I don't know. I think the CW bought it or. We'll okay. Have to research a little because bit more on that, but everything, everything from C or some of the stuff from CW is is ending up on Netflix. Well, that's what I'm saying. That that's the perfect marriage right there. Yeah, I mean, Lucifer we already got season Aaron. five. We Lucifer got, we got, season four was a Netflix original, right? And season and we, so five, we got, obviously, yeah. We got Lucifer on good. there. We got Arrow on there. And if Constantine can get on there, then we could do a matchup. They could do a matchup, and all yeah, that would be good. But uh, like I said, uh, Netflix picked up uh, Lucifer, and uh, I don't hmm. know if they picked up Constantine as well. It, it would be smart in their part. Um. That would rival almost anything that is out there. That would be a, 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 an amazing show. Yeah, it would. It is. Uh, just the idea. Like I said, that's why we just jumped into it. I was excited about it. Um, yeah. Damn. Um, wow. The idea. I mean, can you imagine Constantine. that? You could do five seasons. You could do at least, at least five seasons before Lucifer that we know is actually taking place. Yeah, before he decides to take a vacation. Right. Hmm. Wow. That would Man. be like a prequel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah That's the, badass. That That is. I mean, I, wow. You you should be writing this shit. I don't know. I'm just saying. That would be sick. I mean, hell, you notice that uh, Mark from Fat Man Beyond, he jumped on Instagram and said that he'd love to write for, for, for that team, oh. you know? That would be badass. Oh my uh, god, that would be so good. That's what, that's what I was oh, thinking. Shit all was like, oh shit! Oh my cool. god. I mean, okay. I still have to watch Castle Rock, but knowing Mark, I mean, you know that's that's going to be some good shit. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on a little bit. I'm all going right. to jump around. I'm going to stay in the DC realm right now, all right? All right. So... Dave Bautista. We all know Dave Bautista, right? He's in Guardians of the Galaxy, just got inducted to the WWE Hall of Fame. You know, we all know who he is, right? Mm -hmm. Well, he just teased on social media of a possible dream role with DC. Mm, I heard about this, too. A mm. mm, couple of fans said... Gave I, I heard two ideas, and he said yes to both. He would love to do both of them, but the one I could really see him playing, and that's Bane. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> Bane. Oh, that would be dope. Holy shit! All over. Oh my god, that would be so good. Yeah, I I think I saw like fan art with Batista yeah. as Bane, and I was like, wow. Oh, that fits. <laughs> that, yeah, it's right there. It's oh, it, it's wow. like it, it, that's perfect, so perfect. But we don't know, we don't know anything confirmed yet because you know Bautista does have a thing with Marvel, being that he's doing another Ga Guardians movies coming out soon. Uh, Guardians three is is supposed to be coming out. Yeah, we don't know uh, how airtight those contracts are. No. And if Bautista is a smart man, he's not contracted to just one, you know. Well, okay, staying. No, huh? go ahead. I mean, no. there's been actors who've played both sides of the both sides of the realms, right? DC and Marvel. Yeah, and, and one of the things that DC has been teasing here lately is a, at least in the comic books, doing a DC Marvel crossover, uh, where they're yeah again. Doing um, one again? No. That would be kind of cool. It uh, would be. But if we know one thing, we know we know WP 
or, or uh, DC has to be very, very uh, tight-gripped on their characters because the mouse is looking 